How about them beeves? What a game. My, my blood pressure is starting to go down, which is good. But that was a stressful game. So to be honest about the game, we didn't start out real well with our tackling. We let them score a touchdown because we didn't get the guy down. But then Jamar Jefferson comes back and breaks an 80-yard touchdown run. The guy's amazing. Um, it was just an incredible game. And I think that this game is not the turning point. I think it's the game after the turning point. I think last week against Cal, the Beavers found a way to win. We have a long history of trying not to lose. And this last week, instead of trying not to lose, we found a way to win. Big difference there. Big difference in the mentality of the team. Very, very impressed with, the, with how these players are playing. This week, in the third quarter, late in the third quarter, I thought, we got a shot. And we did. It wasn't because of anything I was doing, it was because of the players and the coaches. Wow. We really found a way to win. We didn't have the best game ever, had some penalties we shouldn't have done. We had some calls that, frankly, I don't get. I just, the whole timeout situation stuff, just don't get it. Just don't. Um, Gebbia going in for a touchdown and being said he came up short. I don't know what they're looking at. I don't have a clue. But we got some players on that team. And how about getting your first college level play on a fourth down inches against your arch rival and scoring a touchdown. I mean, wow, what a way to start your college career. Like I said, Jefferson, fantastic. Gebbia had a great game. Hopefully his injury is gonna be pretty mild and he's gonna be back. Um, I've said it before, I think he is our quarterback. Jefferson, 226 yards. Holy moly, nice job. Really proud of this team. Our offensive line, wow. They blew open some holes. They just came to play. Defense had some great moments. Great. A few problems here and there, but we held what the number nine, number 15, whatever they're ranked, team to their average. I'm pretty happy with that. Kind of wanted them to hold them under 30, but when we score 41, it's okay. I think that Coach Smith did a very good job of not letting the nonsense of the officials get in the way of the game, particularly down late. He stood his ground, he did the right thing, went out and talked to him, didn't get any penalties, um, just was there, just did the right, <coughs> excuse me, right thing. And when I'm talking about the offensive line, I want to point out our center. He's one of the go-to guys. I mean, you're second goal, third goal, fourth and goal, and you're still going with the same guy, and he does the job time and time and time again. The guards are doing excellent. The tackle's fantastic. It just really worked out well. And it really shows that we don't play, this game is not played on paper. We're 14 point underdogs, 14. Most everybody in the country could care less. But instead of letting the officials rule the game, instead of letting our tempers get, get to us, we took things into our own hands. And when I say we, I mean the team and the coaches. And they took control. I also want to say, Coach Smith, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you not calling this team kids. They are truly young men. And they play that way. They respond 
to not being called kids because they're not. They are young men. So I'm really excited to see what happens next week. And shout out to Coach Tinkle and the Beaver men's basketball team. Largest margin of victory ever. 142 to, or 112 to 40 something. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Beaver men's basketball 2-0. The women didn't get a play because the game was canceled, presumably COVID. So it's a great time to be a beaver. Every day is a great time to be a beaver. And as the team says, we all we got, we all we need. Go Beavs. Bye.